and she really acted like a punk today. She did a disservice to herself and the seat that she holds, which is John McCain. But she wasn't even elected. The, the hypocrisy bothers me, and it bothers me that it's acceptable and it's even lauded and applauded among a certain uh, group in our country right now, because that is not acceptable. a two-day-long temper tantrum wasn't enough for CNN to get it all out. Over one of their operatives being called a liberal hack by war veteran and Arizona Senator Martha McSally. Early on, the U.S. Air Force decided Martha McSally had the right stuff. After she graduated from the Air Force Academy, they sent her to Harvard, where she got a degree in public policy. Then they trained her to fly jet fighters. And in 1995, McSally became the first female pilot to fly in combat. I did a video yesterday about how CNN and the rest of the media couldn't hold back their drooling excitement when Nancy Pelosi called a Sinclair reporter Mr. Republican Talking Points. And telling the exact same reporter, don't mess with me, when he asked her a question she didn't want to answer. But when somebody on the opposition side does the exact same thing, suddenly we're on the brink of doom. That's what was so upsetting about McSally today. This is a woman with an oh, amazing man. record of service to this country, and she really acted like a punk today. She did a disservice to herself and the seat that she holds. Yes, you heard that right. Chris Cuomo called the first female combat pilot who flew A-10 combat missions over Iraq and Afghanistan a punk. Chris Cuomo, a guy who fled the scene of a drunk drag racing accident. A guy who threatened to throw someone downstairs for calling him Fredo. A guy who never served a day in his life is calling this national hero a punk. Well, f*** you, Fredo. Not only do we have to wrap our minds around the unbridled absurdity of a low-life partisan hack like Chris Cuomo calling the nation's first female combat pilot a punk, but we also have to unravel the warped, schizophrenic thought process that leads to this completely contradictory response from CNN in regards to Nancy Pelosi disrespecting a reporter. A seven-word question that stopped Speaker Nancy Pelosi Pelosi in her tracks. Do you hate the president, Madam Speaker? I don't, I don't hate anybody. Speaker Pelosi did so much angry pointing that it made her previous fame point directed at President Trump seem like a minor wag. She then marched back to the microphone. Buckle your seatbelt, reporter James Rosen from the pro-Trump Sinclair broadcast group. So don't mess with me. Woo! Wow, but wow. It was the tirade that launched a thousand. Hashtag don't mess with me's. So if you're a Republican and you blow off a reporter, you get this response. There was this incredible and frankly shocking moment that was beneath the dignity, d dignity of how a senator should behave. And it is a very incredibly telling moment. I mean, it's obviously indecent and based on a yeah. uh, desire to not have accountability. My reaction was that her behavior was disgraceful. Behaving disgracefully. It was disgusting. It was it was awful. It was an awful, awful thing that she did. And she really acted like a punk today. She did a disservice to herself and the seat that she holds. And if you're a Democrat who blows off a reporter, you get this response. Don't mess with me. One of the many iconic Nancy Pelosi moments. Absolutely. I loved it. I thought that was Nancy Pelosi at her truest and at her best. She's angry. She's angry with the cheap shot question. But but it's really important for those of us who really um, can't stand the idea of a Trump presidency. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be a historic Pelosi quote for decades. Her latest quote resurrected quotes about her. And if you think a woman can't beat Donald Trump, Nancy Pelosi does it every single day. CNN wasn't alone, with the usual suspects in the DNC media praising Pelosi and casting this Sinclair reporter as some kind of evil propagandist. Look, it's just another glaring example of how our corrupt media enforces double standards against their political opposition. She wasn't even elected. She right, she was appointed. Elected. She was appointed. She, was appointed. she lost. Yeah. And to, right. like a, through a fluke, like some would say Trump won, but that's a whole other show. So it's not enough to call her a punk. Now they're trying to delegitimize her as a senator, too. Just like they do Trump, as Don Lemon did at the end of the clip. Neither McSally or Trump are in their positions because of any flukes. McSally was appointed to that position by the Arizona governor after McCain died. Trump is in office because he won the election. That's not a fluke, Don Lemon. You just lost the election. Do you want to hear new yeah. information? Do you want witnesses? Everyone should be asked that question. If you don't want to answer, guess what? You keep it pushing, keep moving. No comment. 
yes or no. You right. don't have to be rude. You don't have to degrade someone just because you can't answer the question. Here we go again with the standards that Don Lamont holds Republicans to, but not Democrats. We know this because neither Don Lamont or Chris Cuomo had a damn thing to say when Elon Omar blew off this exact same reporter. In fact, nobody in the DNC media did. Omar was every bit as dismissive of his questions as McSally was. And just look at how Lemon ends his rant here. Or because you're afraid you're going to lose to someone who is also very respected back home, and I'm talking about Kelly. Yeah, yeah. sure, look, there's no question, she's got a tough race on her hands. Promoting Democrats, of course! What do I always say? The media's job is to promote Democrats and demonize their opposition. That's it! There's no news, no holding truth to power, or defense of democracy going on here. The hypocrisy bothers me, and it bothers me that it's acceptable and it's even lauded and applauded among a certain uh, group in our country right now, because that is not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> you, lemon! Oh, 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 the hypocrisy bothers you, does it? It bothers you that people are applauding her, does it? Your network, along with other DNC media, wildly applauded Nancy Pelosi, you lying piece of shit. The segment of the population that you're describing is you. Oh, the irony of complaining about being labeled a liberal hack as you perfectly demonstrate liberal hackery. That's about all I can take of these two for one day. Please hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. With YouTube demonetizing just about everything I upload, it's only thanks to my supporters that this channel continues to exist. However you decide to support this channel, I deeply appreciate it. Thanks for watching, keep coming back.